how to do a night rendering in twin motion. This is something that is pretty simple and straightforward and shouldn't take a lot of time, but does require a lot of legwork after to make the render visible and show up properly. So first, what you do is you go into lighting under the rendering settings and you wanna do a normal sky. This way you can go to location and manipulate the time of day, year, and location. With the other dynamic skies, you are unable to do this. They give you great options, but for night renders, I feel like this is the best way to do it. So you adjust the time of day to something in the morning or in the evening that provides no sunlight. And then you can see the stars and see that the sky is a little bit darker. Now, as you can see right now, only the video boards are illuminated, leaving a lot of the context really dark. So you can also change the background from cityscapes to countrysides, stuff like that, that you can see in the distance. And in this case, the cityscape kind of lights up and you can see the lights from the buildings just so subtly to really emphasize that it is nighttime. You can also change the month. And so sometimes the days are longer or shorter and that alters the times that are available at night. Now I'm changing the exposure because it's a little too light out, making it a little bit darker to really show how dark it does get at night. And now I'm boosting up the star intensity so that the stars are more visible, turning down the ambience just because the building was a little too strong. With night renders, it takes a lot of messing with settings to make sure that you get the perfect exposure and lighting in the right areas to make it the most realistic because obviously it's not gonna be completely dark. Now I'm just looking over my settings, seeing how I can make it look a little bit darker in the background. The sky's a little too bright at the moment compared to the foreground. And so I just wanna make sure that the foreground and the background are somewhat similar, telling the same story of a night render. Now you can see the people to the upper left corner and they're somewhat visible, but you can't really make out their faces or their full figure, which is perfect and what we need. Another way to make a night render a little bit better is just adding lights. This will give some illumination in certain areas. And since this is a public space, it'll show and activate this area a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to go through and add a bunch of lights, but I'm just using this as an example of what could happen. In addition, these lights are pretty dull. So you'll have to go into the lighting tab and add additional lights to them. Now, you don't want to make them too bright and unrealistic. But by kind of showing this setting, it definitely provides a little bit more exposure and lighting to this area. Now, the building seems a little bit too dark. And this building will be used at night. It's a movie theater. And so I want to show that it's still being used. So I'm going to put in a couple area lights inside to reveal what it's going to look like and how light can come from the building. As you can see, it looks a little bit better. Um, let's go to the front of the building on the ground level. I've already prepared some lighting on this level for the street lights, sidewalk lights, and the traffic lights. Now there's multiple ways to illuminate. I'm going to add another area light inside and as you'll see this will really help how it's going to look. But other than that, the lights overall are pretty dull and the scene is very dark even with the area box. So what I'm going to do is adjust some of the exposure light settings and the ambience. I think it doesn't have to be completely at midnight when it's the darkest or whatever. It can be kind of when the sun's setting or right after the sun sets where there's still a little, little bit of light visible and people are still out and about just keeping that realism into the render because usually when it's pitch black, people aren't out doing stuff. So if I wanna show that, they won't correlate quite right. I'm gonna export and we're gonna compare the two after I adjusted those settings. So this was before and then after I adjusted all those light settings and you can see a huge difference in just how visible things are, but just the realistic capabilities that it has. Now the street lights might be a little too yellow, but you're just getting a sense of the different things that you can illuminate. Now this is just a beginner's tutorial on how to do night renders. Like this video and comment, 
and I will go ahead and do one of those in the next couple days. Thank you.